Somewhere in the Arathi Highlands, Thrall, the young warchief of the Orcish Horde, wakes from his troubling dream. So, uh, <clears throat> Chris Metzen actually wrote all that text. Uh, and he wrote them all in one day. <laughs> Really? That's what we taught people to do? <laughs> Move commands can also be issued by selecting yours and then right click on. I think we should have led with the right clicking rather than doing this. Um, <clears throat> I think we had uh, odd expectations about who would be playing the game. For honor. Scroll the screen to the north by moving your mouse to the top edge of the screen. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so that voice is uh, that voice is Derek Simmons. He was uh, a producer, I think. Was he a producer at that time? Yeah. He was either in QA or a producer at that time. Um, the original we originally had another guy, someone in the sound department, or someone from Cinematics who did the voice, and uh, his voice had a lisp. So he was talking like this, and uh, so we went with Derek. <laughs> Everything's sort of stretched, stretched out. Dance. Will he explode? How many? Is yeah. <laughs> that used to do damage. <laughs> Ah, uh, waterfalls. Yeah. Order Thrall's forces <laughs> to explore up the river, following the banners. Yes. <clears throat> For honor. We spent so much time putting in yes. nice waterfalls everywhere. It's pretty funny. For honor. Thrall is currently low on mana. <clears throat> there's always yeah, there's gotta be a secret over here. For honor. No? Yes. Ah, uh, there must be a... Hey! There it is. Whenever there's a break in the trees, I know that we did something. <laughs> Manual of health. Oh, yeah. Very good. That treasure chest held a magic tome that can be used to give Thrall a permanent benefit. We were so trying to be an RPG. Oh my gosh. Who made this one? I think this was Tim. So the prologue was actually made at the end of the, the game. Uh, after we'd already made all the other levels. Uh, it was sort of like the last thing we did before we shipped. <laughs> um, and one of the reasons that the narrator... Uh, was an internal guy was uh, we just couldn't afford to pay someone <laughs> at that point find the profit great we did it continue oh this screen yeah I thought we had a secrets. No, I guess we didn't. There was a point where we were talking about uh, making all the secrets listed here, and you can see that you got X out of however many secrets, but we never implemented it. I guess because the secrets were so... No, we could have done it. <laughs> I think it was just timing. Ran out of time. <clears throat> In all those cinematic shots, by the way, we tried so hard to get these great angles where you could like see all the landscape and stuff, and it's like, it's so funny to me now because it's such a goofy-looking 3D game. I don't know. 
I don't know if it's goofy looking, but like, it's old, you know. <laughs> so it's just funny to me. You see that with the waterfalls and the trees, and you've got foreground objects and background objects. Like it was really important to the cinematic guys that we do cool-looking shots. Animals flying through shots. So dynamic. He comes back again. <laughs> I, I don't even think that's on purpose. I think that's the next. <laughs> <clears throat> There's really not much going on in this level, is there? <laughs> I guess not. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I guess it's the inclusiveness of Blizzard products in that uh, we always assumed you know, we assumed that there were people who had no idea what they were doing who were going to want to play our games. And we were probably right, I would say. <laughs> so, believe it or not, upkeep wasn't a... Um, why was upkeep added? It was added because uh, we wanted to keep armies naturally below 100 otherwise the game would explode <laughs> because of the I mean at that time 3d was uh, having this many units and in, in this level of quality was like tough that was tough at that time so in order to we had the hard cap of like a hundred but to try and keep the game in the mid range of units in the in the like 50s, we put in that uh, upkeep costs. Um, obviously, that ended up not mattering. How can I help? You can switch between subgroups by pressing the tab key or left clicking on one of the portraits that is not highlighted. This activates that subgroup and displays their spells in your command card. That was one of those ideas to make the game easier for um, bad players. <laughs> In StarCraft 2, of course, you can select like ridiculous amounts of units. <clears throat> it brings uh, flashbacks to uh, unhappy times. Because <laughs> you have to remember the working on this game was not exactly a fun experience at the time. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. We wanted boats so bad, <laughs> like buildable boats that you would build buildings for and all that stuff. Just didn't happen. Scourge of Lordaeron. So it's going to try to play the videos, but it's going to crash. Yeah, it just crashed. <sighs> of course it crashed. Click OK to terminate the program. Oh, that's painful. All right. Well, um, no, well, it's disappointing. But um, now that I know that that problem is there, uh, I'm gonna look into taking care of that. But I don't think I'm going to continue the playthrough today because uh, it's just too painful. Um, <clears throat> no one's asking questions. There's no questions in the chat that I see. So, uh, and there's only two people watching, so thank you both for coming. Uh, I'm going to stop here and see if I can figure out how to play in a window. I'm pretty sure there was a command I could put in the shortcut to do that. I remember that from, uh, from when I was working on it. So I'm going to look into that, and uh, hopefully that'll resolve the issue. Uh, and if not, maybe there's a secret patch, or maybe... Maybe somewhere in the community there's a patch that will fix this. 
So I'm going to look into that and uh, I'm going to continue this um, probably tomorrow around the same time. Alright. Thanks.